once again hello and greetings to everyone whoever is watching so this is my first video uh, typically it's second one but first video where i'm going to start to code so uh, let's start so uh, i've already opened uh, this website in my browser it's uh, the odin project so why i'm choosing it uh, like there is no specific reason for choosing the odin projects uh, remember my point is to just start so i'm just starting from somewhere maybe i'll use some other resources also to learn some other skills so let's get started so i've already made uh, this account and uh, so this is their foundations course let me just okay so foundations course overview this is where it all begins a hands-on introduction to all the essential tools you'll need to build really working websites you will learn what web developers actually do the foundations you'll need for later courses introduction pre-required sites git basics html foundation css foundation firebox javascript basics and conclusion choose your path so let's start with first chapter and introduction how this course will work so this is uh, introduction to the Odin project let me get through it let me zoom out a little so it can be visible to everyone Each of the following sections and lessons represent essential baseline knowledge even if you know if even if you have no intention of becoming a web developer yourself this material should help you gain a useful understanding of what moving parts involved in creating and serving content on the web we will start by going familiar with the internet and your own computer next We'll work on getting up a development environment and learning about Git and GitHub. Then we'll go over the basics of front-end technologies like HTML, CSS and JavaScript before stepping into the back and with a brief foray that covers the basic concept of back-end technologies. By the end of this unit, you should not only understand how the web works but also be able to identify and differentiate between all the technologies that uh, you will use to build up your own web application you will be able to build a simple web page style it and add minor elements of interactivity while working comfortably from the command line this section intentionally covers a very broad range of topics it's silly to go diving straight into server-side programming without having context for what it is and why it is useful how it works okay i think it will help us understand how this curriculum will get us where we want to get so let's start this curriculum works by pulling together the best content from across the internet I bet so for learning a particular topic and each lesson will introduce the topic and try to provide some useful context before pointing you to external resources made by others most lessons will contain questions that you should be able to answer before moving on some of the lessons will ask you to complete exercises in addition we provide several projects throughout the curriculum to help you grow your understanding by actually building things try not to think of the ordering project or programming as a class in school 
इट्स नॉट मटेरियल यू लर्न ऑल एट वंस टू टेक अ टेस्ट एंड देन पास और फेल यू कैन थिंक ऑफ इट एज अ स्नोपोल यू योर सेल्फ आर अ स्नोपोल यू आर रोलिंग डाउन अ हील फुल ऑफ स्नो दैन फर्दर यू रोल द मोर स्नो विल स्टिक टू यू श्योर स्नो विल ऑल्सो फॉल ऑफ यू एंड यू विल फॉरगेट थिंग्स ऑफ टन but that's just part of the process don't be scared if you get to a project and uh, you feel like you haven't retained or memorized anything this natural and happens to everyone the information will come back to you as you start solving your problems one at a time relying on google and the odin community for help okay where is this the odin community a not about language the odin project attracts people from all over the world who aspire to learn how to become developers please be aware that this curriculum is written in english and maintained by english speakers who are not able or expected to translate it for you as you develop into a programmer you will find that the world you are entering into is firmly rooted in the english language this means that the syntax of your programming language the documentation that teaches you how to use it and the majority of people in the community are all expecting to communicate with you in english if you are a non english speaker or english is not a primary language for you this fact is not mean to discourage you but to prepare you as another part of the preparation we highly recommend Uh, spending extra time on topics and terms that you do not understand right away we also encourage you to seek out additional resources and teach about this topics in your own native language so you can understand them more fully in addition to this you might also consider using a translation dictionary in your own english language alongside our curriculum so you can uh, readily did i spell it correct readily yeah readily reference it as you go we do not have any recommendations on this since there are such a wide variety of languages spoken throughout the world finding one may perhaps be a good first step in learning how to find useful tools online by searching this is a skill you will utilize and improve as you progress in your learning to be a developer what comes next once you are completed this course you should feel comfortable with the building blocks of web programming but itching to dip deeper so we spend a fair bit of time digging into each of the major topics in this course it's really just a taste of what comes next and all the cool stuff you can do with it the last lesson of the course will give you an opportunity to choose between a full stack javascript and a full stack rails path both of which are designed to take the foundation built in this course and build and to an applied understanding of the material each path will focus on taking these raw building blocks and honing them into highly funct- functional skill set the odin project is maintained by professionals we have chosen some of the best resources available and curated a guide on how to go through them if there are no good resources we write our own with that said know that everything in this curriculum is intentionally included and vital for you to become a successful programmer as you move forward in the curriculum each portion is built on everything that came before it so speaking things will create pockets of non understanding in your knowledge that start to affect your ability to solve problems and understand the task at hand additional resources are the only thing this is considered optional unless explicitly stated these are here in case you feel like you need or want to dive deeper into a topic to get a better understanding so like uh, to overload uh, my brain with knowledge maybe i'll get uh, 
so uh, for myself uh, i'll try to stick to the main page uh, i'll avoid going to the optional pages or resources they are provided because i have this uh, tendency or uh, uh, habit to like uh, get uh, uh, attracted to learn some new things but i most of the time i end up uh, getting myself distracted from the main topic and that's why well it's uh, for me uh, you can go as if you like maybe so do not skip anything see additional resources this section contains helpful links to related content uh, it isn't required so consider consider it supplemental it looks like this lesson doesn't have any additional resources yet help us expand this section by contributing to our curriculum okay improve on github report a new issue you course mark complete and next lesson mark complete next lesson